And then I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. and she was in my kitchen going through everything. I grabbed her by the wrist, she squirmed away, she had my watch on, she threw my watch off, and she ran and basically dove through my dog door, broke her lamp, and crawled out and we chased her all the way here and called the police. Wow. Sometimes it's worth getting up early. Normally I sleep, but look at that fireball coming up today. The whole sky is red. Good morning, Venice Beach, California. I hardly ever see the sun coming up, but I should do it more often because it looks beautiful. The last couple of weeks I had a couple of tents here and every Thursday and Friday they do spot cleaning here in Venice. Look at this sweet gondola here behind the fence. And you never really think about it when you park your car and you come down here with your bike or scooter that all this used to be water here in Venice. That's when Abbott Kinney tried to make Venice, California look like Venice, Italy. So all this used to be water here. Look at this cool Venice sign here, haunting Venice. I never seen that before. Hmm, that makes sense. In movie theaters, September 15th. I really like this skull here. The sun is coming through the arches and they're using this sign because they have a movie coming out, a haunting in Venice. That's Venice, Italy. So the big sign you saw it's just a promotion for this movie here. Looks pretty good. They're filming a movie today here in Venice. I already come and set up everything. <laughs> Do pigeons close their eyes when they sleep? I have no idea. Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. And look at this, the green machine is already here. You can come here anytime, the green machine is already raiding to eat everything up. Just like those guys, they eat everything too. It's like doing a cold plunge. The water is really cold here. He's taking a shower already in the morning. So the last three weeks I've been documenting what's going on in the Venice bathrooms and I'm not really want to do more videos about it because I've done two already. I think that's enough. But today is the last day where I'm going to be around for a while here in Venice. So I'm still going to do like a little documentary and we'll see what's going to happen today in Venice. The sun is just coming out and there's so many people surfing already. Look at this and running he's flexing a little bit normally you would think that those guys want to sleep in but no nope, they're out trying to catch the waves i like the birds in the background this is california I like the sound of the birds in the background. Last week, Friday, they didn't really do a sweep. The flying eye is watching us everywhere. So when they do a sweep on Thursday, they go all the way around in Venice and try to pick up all the homeless encampments in between the alley and all the places where they try to set up. So it's not that Venice doesn't have any homeless people anymore. It's just moving around, you know, people go from one side to another side and it's kind of the same thing every week. They clean it up, but then they pop up somewhere else. So 
They're sweeping Thursdays and Fridays. The beach comes alive. LAPD is out already. There's a lot of viewers, they don't like the videos I'm doing here at the restroom, but it seems like a lot of people watch it and it has good things too because of me showing Thomas living here at the restroom. There's people that recognize him, they give him a little bit of money and then people donated some money to me and that's why I'm here today. I try to find Thomas today, if he's around, I'm giving him some money. So you never know who's watching. I'm not sure what happened. Apparently, that's what the police kind of said. She tried to break into a house. They're interviewing somebody else over here. You never know what's going to happen in Venice. Those are pretty cool. So 2 30 in the morning two days ago and he put something in the way of the door the slider thought that was how she got in then he woke up again at like four in the morning she was inside the house and it gone completely through everything and we didn't know that she was getting in through my doggy door we thought maybe like somehow he hadn't put the thing in the no, way of the door the right way either. and then filed the police report yesterday and then i woke up this morning at 7 a.m and she was in my kitchen going through everything i grabbed her by the wrist she squirmed away, she had my watch on, she threw my watch off, and she ran and basically dove through my doggy door, broke her lamp, and crawled out, and we chased her all the way here and called the police. Was that the, the first time you saw her in there? No. The first time I saw her. He saw her I've yesterday. Seen, I saw her twice yesterday. And where is that place? Right here? No, it's in the Venice Nails. Okay. Oh, so you chased her all the way to here? Yeah. So she was like running, you guys were on She was walking. And you guys she were She was walking her. and just ranting the whole time. And you would just like call up the cops and yeah. follow her? Amazing. You have to do what yeah. you have to do. Wow, so I guess you're going to have to seal up that doggy door now. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gone. What are they going to do, right? <laughs> yeah, but it feels good, especially because my keys are still missing and knowing that she's going to be in jail makes it feel yeah. better. Wow. All right. Well, sorry to hear about that. Well, the fact that we have her arrested and it's been taken care of, that's, uh, that's safety and security for me. Yeah, it may have been happening to other neighbors too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. And then she was, uh, she was resisting arrest pretty heavily. Yeah. I mean, looks like she's on something too, the way she moves. Oh, she's a homeless tweaker. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yep. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. She's screaming a lot in the back. And off she off she goes. I just came down here to shoot a little bit B-roll and we'll see what's gonna happen and stuff like this happens. That's it. Wow, they really responded quick. Should wear a short sleeve. Sun is out, it's hot. The Rangers are here. Lhasa is here. Let's check it out. Following the green monster. Smells so bad. All the other ones are coming. Tan 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 ta da tan ta da tan 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 ta da tan ta da. I just heard that they also clean up twice during the week at two o'clock in the morning. So they try to make sure that nobody sleeps in those restrooms anymore. Lhasa's talked to the guy with the dog, try to help him out. There was nobody in the bathroom today on this side, but there's like two more big bathrooms to go. And that lady with the yellow shirt, she broke a lot of glass over there. So they got to clean the glass up. Right on the kids playground. They're going to take it away. They're going around and check if there's more in the sand. Of course you can't find it, but they use like that little rake sometimes. I know him for a long, long time already. And he's pretty young too. But he loves that lifestyle, he told me. Racing each other.
It is so hard to carry all that stuff with you. I see him walking all the way to Culver City with that cart. He's all good. They gave him some water. They document every little thing here. First they have the hazmat people come by and check everything and then the regular crew is going to clean it up. And look who we got standing here. The doors used to hang out right here in Venice. They got a little pool area here, but I don't think it's too safe to swim in here. It looks clear. The green machine eats everything. Beautiful day on the beach. Look at those nice palm trees here. Off to the next location. No motor driven scooters. Uh oh. Well, my friends, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm here in beautiful Venice Beach, California. This is what it used to look like years ago. The whole area I showed you in the beginning. This is like Venice, Italy here with all the canals. Really nice houses. You see the little gondola here. Anyway, today not much happened. They start cleaning twice at night and Thursday and Friday. So today you didn't see anybody staying in the bathrooms which is a good thing so hopefully in the future they're going to keep the restrooms clean so the tourists can use it anyway if you happen to like this video maybe you want to give it a thumbs up push the notification bell and subscribe to the giv i actually came down only to see thomas today i didn't see him i wanted to give him some money but i have to do it another time so i'm not going to do an update video on this one here because uh, the giv He's gonna do something and you will see what he's gonna do. So stay around. Thank you for subscribing and I see you next time. Just saying. Whoa, wait a second. Since I'm here in Venice already, I should show you this house here. Remember Mitch and Hobie from Baywatch? David Hasselhoff. This is his house where he used to live in the TV show. That's not his real house. This is Mitch's house on Baywatch. David Hasselhoff walked up and down here, sitting on the porch right there. See, only here in Venice. Beautiful. All right, see you later. Tschüssing.